Hello everybody and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311 and this is your channel for everything VR related. So today we are checking out Contractor Showdown, but I don't think I'm properly equipped for this video. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, now we're ready for this. These developers did ask me to cover this game, so I'm not doing a full review. I'm just gonna talk about my experience, show off some gameplay. And of course I will touch on things that I really like and things that, you know, just weren't for me. Now, there are, of course, links and timestamps if you want to skip ahead, but well, let's just get started with the basic information. Contractor Showdown is a 60 player first person shooter battle royale title set on a massive 16 square kilometer map. It includes a huge array of realistic military weapons, including handguns, shotguns, rifles, submachine guns and grenades. There's also an array of special abilities such as radar detection to locate your enemies and the ability to call in an airstrike. Now, I usually like to start these videos off with my expectations, and I have to say, I'm not much of a Battle Royale fan. I'm an older dude, and I grew up on the arena shooters, which are just so much more fast paced. I love the constant engagement. So if I lose one firefight, I'm going to be in another 10 seconds later, and I'm going to get my redemption. Battle Royale doesn't run like that. Obviously, you guys know this. It is a much more prolonged gameplay. You're going to do a lot of scouting, collecting equipment, and then occasionally engaging people choosing you know the best way to engage or the best time so there's a lot more strategy here and it's just not the type of shooter i grew up on but with that being said i was absolutely loving this experience and one of the hallmarks of a great shooter is having fun even when you suck at it and suck at this game i did at least in the very beginning now, if you've somehow never played a battle royale experience I expect you're looking at a learning curve of about three hours before you start to feel comfortable. Now, the game does make it very easy to understand the overall mechanics, and there's a great tutorial if you're not familiar with either Battle Royale games or just first-person VR shooters. Now, in terms of Battle Royale games, Contract the Showdown definitely doesn't break the mold or introduce too many items that are brand new, but what it does include is done extremely well, and there are some really cool nuances in there that I definitely want to talk about. For starters, gun handling is absolutely fantastic, and that's honestly one of the most important factors in a game like this. Many VR gamers could easily take gun handling for granted, but the developers have all sorts of hurdles to jump through. There's dealing with your natural handshake, making sure reloads feel smooth and natural, and also providing the appropriate level of feedback. Now, I was immediately impressed here. The guns feel great. I wasn't struggling to reload. Everything was just perfect when it comes to that. So they nailed it there. And I also like the fact that, you know, you pick up a 50 caliber and fire it. It just feels different in terms of the sound it makes when you fire it, when it hits an enemy, the feedback in your hands, everything is perfect along there. So honestly, they did an amazing job with that. And they also added some other cool things that I really like, namely throwing grenades. A lot of games struggle with this. And they added this option where you use your offhand and kind of aim and you can see the path the grenade's, grenade's gonna take they just give it a nice little wing so you don't have any of that you accidentally go ah! with a grenade when you don't expect it you really tried to chuck it but you didn't release right or anything like that now there is still skill involved it doesn't you know make it super easy because the grenades will bounce i'll show some clips of that but honestly i love this feature and i think most vr games should include it it just feels right like everything else i have no complaints when it comes to the overall gameplay and this is a new top tier VR shooter. Now there are a few issues I will get to in just a moment, but I just wanna mention a few other items that are included. Obviously there's player skins that you can unlock, different player perks that you can select. One of them actually surprised me. Like one adds to more survivability. So if you're down and you're just crawling away, you can actually buff your health a lot. And there was one enemy who was using this perk and I saw him down and I was chasing him and I put about four or five bullets in him and he was still alive, which blew my mind until I realized it was because of the perk. So there's perks that'll change the overall gameplay, a massive array of unlockables, including player and weapon skills, plus new items. There's also in-game achievements that you could show off. So if you manage to pull off something like 50 kills, it's an in-game achievement, and you could kind of put that on your player tag. So your buddies in game on your team could see, wow, you're such a badass. Additionally, there's contracts which are, you know, one-off tasks that they want you to do, like get three kills. And that'll give you more in-game currency for your unlockables. So there's a lot to be excited about. The leveling system will keep you going. You get to show off your achievements. They did a lot to kind of keep motivating you rather than just playing and playing and playing, even though playing is the best part. Now the elephant in the room is, how does this game compare to Population 1? 
is it the pop one killer that people are saying and my answer is no the game feels different yes they're both battle royales but they have a very different gameplay feel you know, battle royale has a lot more to do with verticality you're scaling buildings you're gliding around you're using swords it's you know gone a little bit more towards the fortnite side at this point plus they're branching out into new things like their sandbox mode and world building and apparently you know i'm hearing they have some new updates coming too so it's a very different style of game now if you made me choose between contractor showdown and population one i'm definitely leaning more towards showdown but that could be because the game is brand new and i'm in the honeymoon phase or i just prefer more of a military style whatever the case may be I'm enjoying it more. And one thing that I've noticed is even though I'm still getting wrecked, I'm getting, you know, a couple kills here. Like a good match for me is like three or four kills, but I'm still getting wrecked every once in a while and I still enjoy it. So that's a great sign for a competitive game because you have to keep enjoying it. If it's all about winning, 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 it's going to just boil down to a very small niche of, you know, extreme enthusiast players going to kill off the player base. So it has to be fun for everyone. And I think this game is. Now, I think I covered everything. If you have any additional questions, let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're playing this game, you know, I'd love to hear your feedback. Compare it to Population 1. Let me know what you like, dislike, any bugs you found that I didn't cover. Honestly, I didn't really see any bugs in this game at all. I'm trying to think. I got nothing. You know, I did see one player get stuck between rocks, um, and then he got stuck... Uh, when the wave came and closed off the map and died but honestly besides that i really haven't seen anything there's some jankiness sometimes when you're standing on the edge of the plane but honestly it's almost bug free i know that's not true but it feels good enough okay guys i'm digressing that was today's video if you enjoyed it if you got questions drop them if you're new here please consider subscribing